We are from the Internet of Things IoT generation. These days, we control our home appliances like air conditioners, room heaters, water heaters, water pumps, etc. remotely from anywhere. But for every Wi-Fi based IoT enabled device, we require uninterrupted internet or Wi-Fi connectivity. So the problem of low Wi-Fi signal is very common due to the interference from room to room or from floor to floor. Many people face this problem in their daily lives. As we know, everything needs internet nowadays, even smart TV, smartphone, laptop to a desktop computer. But what if you have just one router to provide the wireless connectivity in your house? So the question is how we can access the internet in every corner of the house? So if you have a big house, single router is not enough to cover the range. Each foot step lowers your Wi-Fi signal and it's not good for multi-story building. So what solves this problem? So don't worry, we will build the cheapest and portable Wi-Fi repeater using ESP8266 Node MCU development board. So without doing any delay, let's get into this. The list of the components that are required for building this project are Node MCU ESP8266 12E Development Board TP4056 Module 18650 Rechargeable Battery Few Jumper Cables SPST Switch and the Project Box for Enclosure So here are some advantages and disadvantages of ESP8266 Wi-Fi Repeater so let's build our own Wi-Fi extender from cheap ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. But point to be noted that if the repeater is far from your router, it will have a low connection speed. But we do not require a fast speed for most of the IoT projects. I need an inexpensive way to increase my Wi-Fi range so that my IoT device could connect to the internet on the remote Wi-Fi router and send the notification to my phone. This ESP8266 repeater can extend the signal of your Wi-Fi up to 300 feet with good connection. Download all the files from the link provided in the description below. The files contain all the firmware files and the software tools that are needed. Simply unzip the zip file and browse the ESP8266 repeater folder. Before that, we need to set up Node MCU ESP8266 for flashing Wi Fi repeater firmware. So, you need to install the Node MCU driver on it. So, to get the USB adapter to communicate with your computer, you need to install CS340 driver. Inside the subfolder of ESP8266 repeater, you can get the subfolder CS341SER underscore Windows for Windows and CS341SER for Mac and similarly CS341SER underscore Linux and just open the program folder and install the required drivers for my case mine is windows i have already installed the windows driver now let's flash the repeater firmware into the node mcu first of all plug in your esp8266 node mcu to your usb adapter and plug it all into your computer now open the program in the subfolder called flash download tool version 3.8.5 run it by double clicking on it and then select the developer mode and then select ESP8266 download tool. Now you can set the program to the setting as shown in the video. Now select the COM port of your node MCU and also set the baud rate to 115200 and then click on start. When it says finish, unplug your adapter and ESP8266 module from your computer. Now the firmware is successfully uploaded. 
Now let's configure the portable Wi-Fi repeater. You can do this by using smartphone as well. After the first boot, it provides an open My AP or Wi-Fi network. Connect to this Wi-Fi network and perform the basic configuration by simple web interface. Open your web browser and enter the following IP address 192.168.4.1 and now you should see the following page. First of all, in the STA setting, enter the correct Wi-Fi credential of your main Wi-Fi network that you want to extend. If you want to enter non-ASCII or special characters in the web interface, you need to use HTTP style hacks encoding like percentage %20 for space. Leave the password field if you have open network. You can also check the automate button if you really want to use automate mode. Now simply click on connect. Now the node MCU ESP8266 rewards and will connect to your Wi-Fi router. Now you should see the status LED blinking. Configuring the AP setting is not required in the automate mode and these settings are identical to the STA settings which means the same SSID will be shown by the connected ESP8266 repeaters. If you are not using automate mode, you can now reload the page and change the access point settings. Enter your network SSID and set the password. Choose the security as WPA2. Now you can also change the subnet as your requirements. Finally click on the set and again the ESP reboot. Now it is ready for forwarding the traffic over the newly configured access point. To do the further configuration you need to enter the IP address of the newly configured access point. You can also click the log checkbox and click log. This allows you to secure your configuration. Now no one can change the configuration without unlocking it. Now it's time to assemble our portable powerful ESP8266 Wi-Fi repeater. You can use the following circuit diagram to connect each components together. I have set up the components inside the waterproof case as shown here. You can place this repeater in any corner of your home, office or work space. The speed test measurement shows that we can achieve about 5 Mbps in both upload and download. So the streaming is also possible for a single user like watching Netflix, YouTube and browsing internet. So here you can see the speed test in a real time. Finally, I hope you have built your own portable Wi-Fi repeater using Node MCU. If you need any kind of help regarding this project, please do let me know in the comment section below. It's me Elson signing off for today. See you soon on the next one.